How's it going ladies and gentlemen? In today's video, we're gonna install the rear strut bar on the 300ZX twin turbo. It's you and As you guys already know, one good thing I already have done is the entire interior is already removed. So this is gonna make this job a whole lot easier. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take those off, the little rubber pieces, and get down to where the bolts are. The next step is to take the, uh, the nuts off the strut towers. This stud, I don't even know what it's connected to. Um, so it took us a little while to get it off. I got the strut bar in and now it's about getting that bolt back in and tight. So it's gonna take a little bit, but we'll get it done. But the other side's in, all we need to do is tighten it down and we'll be done. I was able to get that bolt set, put the rubber pieces back on and it's all good to go. It's all set, it's nice and solid, really strong right in there. Um, I'm going to get that bolt head looked at anyway, um, in a little while, take it to a place and have them just look at it real quick, see if they could do something about it. Maybe they have to jack the car up and see what's going on with it. But for now it's in ready to go and it's ready for a cruise to see how much that's going to stiffen up the rear end. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So a quick review about the carbing rear strut tower bar is it was super easy to install the one bolt screwed us up on the install a little bit but that was um on the strut um that shouldn't be a problem on anybody else's four bolts in and out um if you need to cut your interior piece i would go and look at the power tricks um little printout that they have on their website for theirs um obviously it might be a little bit different in the sizing for the carving um strut bar but overall I really like it and um, when I drove it around a little bit later that day it's very strong it, it handles a lot better the the rear end feels a lot tighter um, when I'm turning it didn't really want to kick out at any point uh, I could take turns a little bit faster than I felt before uh, the car is very well seated to the ground prior to that but after that it made it feel a whole lot better the only thing um i might do is take it out and paint it i might want to go with black because i'm gonna have black interior and just one silver random piece in the center um might have some issue with that i haven't put on the front strut bar yet that's probably coming up in one of my next videos coming up uh also in a couple days i'll be having a dr another driving video coming up for you guys where i put down some of that 500 horsepower with the rear strut uh, bar. But again, thanks a lot guys. I really appreciate you guys subscribing and if you're not subscribed, please do uh, Feel free to drop a like and comment and um, In about a hundred more subscribers the first giveaway is gonna happen. So 
feel free to get me closer to that and enter for your chance to win the giveaway. The giveaway, all you got to do is comment once and have the most liked comment on the page for it to win. And the one with the most likes is going to win the giveaway. Again, thanks a lot, guys. Be safe and happy.